Hey guys, I am back. Okay, so today I'm, I don't know why I say that today, today, today. Um, right now I'm going to be doing a quick video on, I'm going to try to be quick because I've been rambling today. Um, a quick video on my potty pouch. So if you're familiar with all of my other videos up until now, um, I carried a diaper pouch and I raved about the Bumpco diaper clutch. Um, still love it, still have two of them, and we'll still keep them and use them. But, um, and you can probably use the Bumco as well, but I am an overpacker, notorious overpacker, serious problem. And I couldn't stuff all the stuff that I wanted to in there, so I had to use a wet bag, which I needed a wet bag anyway. So anyways, here we go. This is what is in my potty pouch okay i'm new to this you guys because this is um she's my last baby and she just got potty trained so i kind of just went off like what i thought and like memory of what i would need um when we're out in public and she has to go to the restroom first of all i'm not putting her on a public toilet um i don't even want to sit on public toilets and um she you know needs to be comfortable and feel secure especially when they're new to the potty um you know you kind of i feel like you got to make it as like homey as possible so here is what i have in here i just thought this would be a good video in case you're going through potty training right now and maybe you need some things to encourage them to go when they're in public i know my four-year-old she would not go in a public toilet she refused it she would hold it and that's not good I wish I would have had all this stuff when I um, was going through that with her because she's good now, but she hated public restrooms. She hated the sensor toilets, like that would freak her out and I think that really stopped her from using public toilets and I just, it was, it was bad. So um, anyways, here we go. This is a wet bag. I got it on Amazon. Um, I will link my Amazon favorites down below and on that you'll find everything pretty much everything that i got here i got it on amazon so you'll find everything that i that's here on that link instead of linking everything one by one i just do a favorite list and it's all on there um i really like this because it's big yet if you just needed it by itself you didn't like fill it with everything um you could fold it up and it folds up really nice and and thin um, it came with two of them as well for like eight bucks versus one for like ten. I'm always trying to find the best deals as well. Um, on it, I just have, if you're curious on what this is, it's a bag net. So it's a magnet. Um, I don't know what I can. Okay, if this is my stainless steel cup. You can see like the magnet is, um, a, you know, like attached to it. It's a really strong magnet. It's just not grabbing onto this that well, but um, it's a really strong magnet. So when you're in like a public restroom, if there's not a hook or something, you can um, attach your, your magnet to the stall or whatever, and your, your bag will hang instead of having to put it on the floor. Um, and we haven't been out in public, so I have not tried any of this yet. I'm just getting prepared. Um, so I don't know what's the easiest, quickest way to, you know, pack everything. Um, I asked some of my mom friends on my groups and, you know, somebody said this, a lot of people said this is good, this is what you should have. And then there was some moms that were like, well, when your kid has to go, you know, they have to go. You don't have time to like unzip everything, every pouch, every whatever. And that's true too. Like, I feel like that would be true. So I don't know. We'll see when I, when we do get to go out again and, um, I'll test it out and I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, just for packing purposes this is how I have it um, I like this pouch because it has this little zipper in front as well for like in here I have um, my cat is here you're gonna probably see her cross the, the table there she goes come here Nala this is Nala everybody my baby I love her okay get down though <laughs> um, this is um Baby Bumco sent me um, their their gloves baggies. Um, I just have one in here, but 
you would put it on to like change diapers I guess and then when you take it off it'll grab the soil diaper and then you just toss it I thought that was really neat um, I just carry one just in case you know if I don't want to touch an icky toilet or something I could put this on and then throw it away so that's why I have that in there um, I got these toilet seat covers from Amazon this is what it looks like this is how big it is so this would go on the public um, toilet the reason why I bought covers as well as the foldable potty which we'll get to in a minute um, was because I at first thought like oh I'll, I'll get sanitizer and I'll spray the toilet down and then I was like that still seems gross to me so um, I started you know looking more into it and um, they had toilet public toilet covers and I was like okay I'm gonna get those I'll spray the toilet put this and then put your potty I know it sounds like a lot of steps and maybe I won't do all that who knows I don't know like I said I haven't done it yet but I just wanted to be prepared because you don't know and you don't know what germs are on there and if they really got to go I have a little girl she's gonna have to sit down it's not like a boy so um I just got all the stuff any I'm just showing you guys you can get it you don't have to get it you may use it you might not I may who knows I'll let you guys know but on here it has these little sticky things if you want to peel it and stick it on the toilet so that it doesn't like slide around um so yeah that's what I have I don't even know how to fold it back up whatever that's that um I have these little disposable um these little disposable sheets of soap I thought like that's really neat to have you know a lot of times you've been to a public restroom and they don't have a soap dispenser this you just put it on your palm you run some water and it turns into soap I that's so neat um, I got this from um, Michael Madre um, I'll tag her down below as well she has a, a, a YouTube channel as well shout out to uh, Candy Vida she gave me these this is where I initially saw those she gave me this um, this one she got them from wish and I've seen them on wish you can get them just like that excuse my cat um, but I also ordered some from Amazon that came in like bulk um, and those are linked in my Amazon favorites so you can go ahead and and grab them from there as well they come in a little pack like this really thin you could keep them in your purse in your potty clutch whatever these are really really handy so I have that in there um, I have another poopy bag and then I have um, some wet ones for hands or whatever or um, to wipe your potty seat after or you know wipe it down before you stick it back into like your wet bag and then these little flushable um, wipes if you need you know if you need some wipes versus uh, toilet paper so that's what I have in there I feel like I'm gonna need all of that I might not but I mean I rather have it than to not have it and this these are post-its they're a little post-it um, the little tiny square ones you just take it off like that you if you're wondering why I have post-its in there this is a little hack that I've learned from my mommy community that I love so much um, so on the toilets that have sensors oh gosh my battery's dying um my like I said my four-year-old hated public restrooms because of those sensors it would scare the crap out of her literally um she would not even want to go so um I had seen I don't know who posted it but they would take post-it notes and stick it onto the sensor so it was covering it so and you know because movement activates it um, so it wouldn't go off while they were using the restroom and scare the crap out of them. I thought that was brilliant and so now I carry post-its for when my little one has to go in case she's scared of the sensor. I don't know if she is yet or not but if she is I'm prepared and I thought that was a neat little hack. So that's what's in that front pocket. Now in the main pocket itself and this is a wet bag meaning if you have soiled clothes or wet clothes or whatever you stick them in here um so it's not touching your bag or anything like that and this is machine washable you could just toss it in the washer so that's what that is um inside i have a change of clothes a change of underwear um, i suggest carrying socks as well and maybe in your car um 
some shoes, an extra pair of shoes in case there's an accident. Um, and this is a diaper. She's newly potty trained. Um, she does so well at home. I don't have to put her diaper until the nighttime. I do still put her a diaper or whatever diapers I have left from the box that I previously bought. But um, eventually it would be like a pull up. I wouldn't carry a diaper, but that's just what I have on hand. So a diaper. And um, this is another wet bag, and this is the one I was carrying in my diaper clutch. Um, it's super thin. You can see it's like paper thin. This I like just in case there is an accident, and I'm using this for everything else, I will stick it in here and then put it in there. So that's just an extra wet bag. And now to the actual potty seat. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these. You may or may not be. It's a foldable potty chair. Um, for like when you're out and about or even at home. This is a Jewel Baby. Um, I got it on Amazon. It was um, the cheapest one and also I just liked the style. They have like character, well they don't, but there's character ones and stuff like that. I just wanted something simple and plain. Um, it's pink because she's a girl. They have a like a teal colored one if you uh, want one, you know, not pink. <laughs> um, it has these suction cups so you're not wiggling around it says it's pinch proof i know like you, you know it folds right here but once it's on it should stay shut we'll see i hope it doesn't pinch my baby but i read a lot of the reviews and um so far no pinches so that's good um and so like i said i would put that toilet seat cover on and then i would put this on that toilet seat cover and then your baby would go on here safe and securely you have your little post-it note for the sensor and soap that's pretty much, I think, what I would would need. Now, once she's done, you can clean it off with um, a wet one or spray it down with your hand sanitizer or whatever. Stick it back in here until you get home. You can really give it a good rinse. It folds up just like this. Super easy. Very compact. You can carry it in almost any bag, any size bag. Um, in the pouch, I would suggest keeping it in a pouch. And that's it. That's what I have in my now potty clutch. No, no more diapers for me. Um, thank God. Uh, but now I have my diaper clutch. So I had thought originally like, oh, I won't need um, such big bags anymore because I won't be carrying diapers when she's potty trained. Well, now I just replaced the diaper clutch with the even bigger freaking potty clutch. But that's just me. That doesn't mean that you guys are going to do that. Anyways, I just wanted to show you what I had in there and maybe um, you'll find a couple of items um, helpful. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I hope some of those items will be helpful to you. Good luck.